Kitty Cat, and welcome to the Museum of Discovery's Cat News. Today, we'll be, we will spotlight cats in the news, fun cats, and, other lo and our local weather. Now for cats in the news, cats have been known to have a mind of their own and go stray. But there is one cat that knows where he, where, where he is going. You will find him on the number three bus every day. Here's our story of Casper the commuter, the commuter cat. It had been a mystery for months. Almost every day, Susan Finden's cat would leave the house and return just over an hour later. She couldn't work out what he was up to until a local bus driver told her he'd regularly been giving Casper a ride. The well-travelled Tom hops on the number three at the stop right opposite his home. His favoured seat is at the front. Drivers say Casper has been a regular for months, but so far he hasn't been charged the fare. He just gets on the vehicle and he just finds a nice comfy spot to sit and it comes for the ride. And we try to look out for him and if he's on our bus we make sure he comes back home. Casper gets on at Pool Park Road bus stop near his home in St Budo. His 11 mile journey takes him past HMS Drake to the centre of Plymouth and back again. Casper's owner was surprised to discover what he was up to and was at first a little concerned. Well, rather scared than anything that should he get off at the wrong stop or a driver kick him off, um, he'd end up getting lost and obviously run over. But now I've learnt they all look after him really well, so I have confidence that he'll be safe. And not only that, as a regular traveller of a certain age, the bus company says Casper is eligible for a bus puss. Now, on the lighter side, we go to our fun cat segment. Cats seem to be always getting into stuff. Nosing around the house, sometimes their curiosity gets the best of them. People are for are forever posting on YouTube the crazy things their cats get into. Here are, here, here's a few that we thought you would like. If you want more laughs, there are many more clips like those on YouTube. Just search for cats or funny cats. We will hear from our weather forecaster, Scratchy Tom, about the week ahead just after this commercial break. Why do cats stare when you're pouring milk? It's like they know it's only a matter of time. The only thing between them and opposable thumbs. Imagine that. Cats with thumbs. And what if they got together? Gangs of cats with thumbs. An organized army with one thing on their mind. Gravendale. Well, jog on, kitties. Welcome back, cats. Thankfully, it's not raining cats and dogs this week. There would be a lot of barking and cat hissing and clawing if, if it were. We've got Scratchy Tom to tell us the, the weather for the week ahead. Scratchy? The tornadoes put many a cat out of a home. Some cats are quite unaware of the storms coming in. 
and didn't pay attention to the tornado sirens. The city has come up with a new siren that the cats can easily respond to. Here it is. Roll the clip, please. If you hear it, make sure to run for shelter. Now let's get to the now let's get to the weather. Uh, down e uh, over e to the east, it's 60 degrees in San Francisco, and in Phoenix, it's uh, 85. And then Great Falls up north is 60 degrees, and in Minneapolis, it's 48. In Kansas City, it's 48 too, and Dallas, it's 73. Well, that's it for the weather. Back to you, Kitty. Thanks, Scratchy. We we are about out of time, so thanks again for watching another Museum of Discovery. Cat news. Until we meet again, good night.